So after living in the van for over a year now, we thought it was probably about time to do a van tour. So today's video is a van tour. Someone's just had the cheek to come to our parking <laughs> car park. Our parking car park, that makes sense. We've had this car park to ourselves for like a little while, so it feels like home now. The cheek. Joking, we like neighbors, they're just not vans, which is a shame. <laughs> I'll show you where we are now, actually, as well. This is where we are. We have actually filmed a little bit here, so next week you'll see a little bit about this area. It's really, really pretty. It's probably one of our favorite spots now. I think we're going to be coming back here time and time again. <laughs> but we also use it for work so I can set up this table over here. So it's actually quite big but that's because Lou needs a lot of space with like keyboard, laptop and everything and there's two plugs down here so we can just like plug in the chargers, click to it. It's also good for extra like chopping up space. And underneath our seating area, we've got our bathroom. <laughs> so we just kind of sit this way because we didn't realize when we were getting made that this is actually too high to sit that way. So it's our sideways toilet. And then it just locks in place with this little button so it doesn't move when we dry. Although we have forgot to lock it in sometimes and then it's everywhere and Lou has to lean over from the front to stop it banging back and forth. And under here, if I move this out of the way, We have obviously like the top of the toilet, but we've got all our electrics and our inverters were here. I'm not gonna spend ages talking about that because we are not electricians and we don't really know that much about it. Then we've got extra storage and then this just slots back down. And the back is just held on by these little poppers. So by here we got two bits of extra headroom for me but they also double up as fans. They're um, Max Air fans. We got them installed at the worst point that we could have got them installed because it was like the end of the summer and it's just sort of been cold since. But we've got the remotes, that's what they're called. But there, and we got one up by the bed as well. So yeah, they're pretty good as it goes. So if we cook in by here, it's good because obviously it just goes straight out. Gets rid of all the steam. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this summer. Hopefully it's like last year where it's like 30 degrees, but we didn't have anything in here. So it was just nights and nights of just sleeping in a pool of your own sweat. With these, I'm hoping it's gonna be nice and icy. So I'm gonna do the top half of the kitchen cause I'm old and I can't get down there really. So we've got this little cupboard, which we store pans, eggs, um spices pasta bread stuff like that and then by here we got the thetford triple x lovely bit of kit the three hobs obviously it's uh also doubles up as a heater so you just go like that and then within about 20 seconds it gets absolutely boiling in you useful when you don't have a diesel heater. And then, obviously it's got the grill and oven. Which you do kind of use for storage as well when we're moving. <laughs> Why not, isn't it? It's a good little extra bit. And then up here, this is our uh, cup cupboard. <laughs> Coffee, Zucky, if you know about Zucky. Um, paracetamol just general rubbish really that you kind of need also these doors are heavy so when it closes you know if Kirsten's driving like Michael Schumacher it's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna move so we've got another one by here one of these high cupboards um, tighter roll 
shower stuff, smelly stuff, bikinis for when I go wild swimming, chest <laughs> um, brushes, stuff like that. It's basically our bathroom. Yeah. So for the short people, because Lou can't bend down this far, we've got another cupboard down here, which is basically like plates, cutlery, squash, vodka, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. We've got like um, our rich monkeys and stuff, which fit nicely in here. Is this in there? What is this? You can tell like hair just gets everywhere in the van. But yeah, this is just that. And then we've got this fridge. It is a fridge freezer but we found the freezer was rubbish. So we've just ditched the freezer. It's all now a fridge. There was an extra shelf by here, but it kind of hits all our favorite sources. So that's gone too. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's on like three degrees now. It uses hardly any electric. That's about all I can tell you about it with the electric, but it's good. And we have a giant cupboard over here. In case you couldn't tell, we spent a lot of time thinking about how we can store as much stuff in here as possible because we've got a lot of stuff. So this shelf is like half Lewis's, half mine. I definitely have more stuff. <laughs> this is mine and this is mine. But yeah, so it's just like random stuff. This is like my skin bag, which is going to look absolutely ridiculous. This is all my skin stuff because I like skin stuff. And yeah, we don't want to like sacrifice stuff that we like just because we live in a van. And then here, so this is one of my favorite things because we decided not to have a shower because, well, we'll show you what's in these big cupboards in a minute, but we wanted to get one that obviously could move. So you can kind of like wash your hair, but it's also got two settings. So it's got like shower setting, we're running low on water a minute, and then a normal setting. So it doesn't normally do, tch, 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 tch. it's just because we need to fill the water and we are in the middle of nowhere right now. So that is a job for later. So this is where most people would have a wardrobe, but me and Lewis just wanted to have all the clothes you could think of. So when people say downsize, we did downsize, but we also thought we would rather go out, find a shower or use this tap and have lots and lots of storage. So this side is Lewis's and it's also got the mirror. I love this, we've literally got a full length mirror. We went months and months and months without having a mirror and you just could not tell if you were going out looking a mess or not. And then in the wardrobes, we've got these little nifty things. So you can fit t-shirts and stuff in them. We've got like different types. So obviously Lou's got more trousers than storage boxes, but if you do this, like all the trousers are in here and they were just off of Amazon. I might leave a link in the description in case anyone wants to see them. But yeah, that's Lewis's side. It's got a little light in there so you can see and then we've got my side which i feel is it is organized but it looks a bit messy so yeah just got like tops trousers hoodies summer stuff basically every kind of season we have got so we don't have to go back and forth and if it's sunny one day and you were expecting it to be cold you don't really have to worry about that because we've got everything you could think of and now to the other favorite part of our van build which might be a bit overkill for most people, but Lou, how tall are you? 6'3". So he can't sleep this way. So we've got a super king size bed, which is actually the biggest bed that I have ever slept in. So I'm quite happy that we have it. And then yeah, obviously Lou said earlier, we've got this fan up here. We've got a TV over here in this corner, just there. And then we've got my lovely little fairy lights which move every single time we drive <laughs> and then over here i just yeah i love teddies so we've got some teddies and yeah so we've got these like spotlights which i'd say i consider them like our main lights it's obviously the brightest lights in here but we can turn them off and then we've got strip lights like underneath this little piece so it's pretty cool. It's good for the ambiance and all that. So I am five foot two, so I need this step basically to get onto the bed because it's quite high up, but we've done that for a good reason. The step just kind of collapses down, chuck it to the side and this you push and in here there's a load of stuff. I'm going to go around the other side now and show you, but yeah, it's nice to have access to some of it this way. 
It's like ridiculously windy today, so I'm hoping to be able to hear. I'll say that to calm down a little second. Whoa, now it's windy. <laughs> So maybe we'll show this again next time, but in here, lots of storage. Are you okay? Did it actually hit you? Oh no! <laughs> I think it did. Oh my god, this is mad. This is why we didn't put the drone up to show the outside of the van here. I'm done with this wind. I feel like I've just broken my arm. <laughs> I'm not dramatic. <laughs> Look at that, it's literally calmed down now. It's round the back it is. It's not as bad on the side. So there wasn't really much to show and I think that's why we've kind of put off doing a van tour for so long because we kind of wanted to keep it simple. We just wanted a lot of storage, a nice kitchen area and a hidden toilet. So obviously people just didn't see the toilet where it was just nicely away and just workspace. Yeah, for full transparency, we don't number two in that toilet either. We just use public toilets. Yeah, we only go for a wee in that because it's just a chemical toilet. So we've been looking at the, um, what are they called? Compost ones, is it? Compost, I didn't say combustible, but compost toilets. Compost but <laughs> we didn't think of that before we done the van. And obviously like they're a lot taller than that. So I don't know, like they're taller than our chemical one. So I don't know where that would really fit now in the build. But we have got to finish doing the cupboard that's down here. We want that to be like obviously matching all the wood. But for now, it's just carpet and that works. So there's lots of little things we still want to do. But for now, this is Cora and we hope you like to let us know. Yeah, we don't really like, we, we spend more time outside or doing stuff really, don't we? We don't, like even when we had a house, the only time we'd really be stuck in there is if I was like working and that's all the table's for. So we don't need yeah. like, crazy stuff that's why i think like we wanted the garage which i couldn't really show properly today because it's just so windy where we are but the garage there's like paddle boards we've got where our gas bottle is the water and stuff we'll probably have to do like van tour part van tour part two with like the garage and all that and maybe the cab which is a bit of a mess right now so we're just ignoring that <laughs> but yeah all our outdoorsy stuff is all just in the garage so it works for us like the way this setup is like perfect for us but we've seen like setups, pun. Van's shaking like mad. Yeah, <laughs> the van's just like this. It was like that all night as well. I was rocked to sleep. Lewis was. Uh... Yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> Lewis was waiting for us to like just topple over. I was there like, oh, this is so nice. <laughs> I did offer to move. Yeah, but I was at like four in the morning and where are you going to move? Like, Further up. <laughs> but yeah let us know what you think let us know if there's something that you see in our conversion that you think like oh you should do this and this will help with like this or whatever so and sorry we couldn't like dive much into the electrics because we don't really know anything about it it's not our forte we do have the solar panels obviously on the roof we've got 300 watts don't ask me i haven't got a clue it's just we've like... got 200 two lots of 150 watt solar panels on the roof yeah, electric just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> like, how can you make electric out of light? That's mad. Yeah, we do also have, actually. There is one little thing we can show with the electric. So, down here, I plugged something in the earlier, so that's why it's kind of open. But yeah, we've got, like, two, like, the cigarette lighter ones. Then there's USB here. And then this is how we know if we've got any electric or not. That is basically all we understand. And we do have an app which we can show you that we use. And in terms of plugs, we've got two more plugs down here. We've got our vents for the oven and we do have two plugs up by the bed, down by here. So then we can charge our phones in the night. And obviously we have plugs in here for the TV to go to and the Xbox. Don't really use the Xbox though. So. Oh. So we've got blackout curtains, we've got them on each side window, and then we've got two at the back, and then we've got these big ones covering the cab. 